and his mother's advice that Bharat keeps recalling. A promise is a promise. If a man makes a promise and doesn't keep it, he doesn't have the right to call himself a man. It was a blockbuster because the general mood of the people reflects well in this film. People are tired of empty assurances and unfulfilled commitments. The saga of Andhra Pradesh during this Modi Shah regime is just that, a saga of empty promises and unfulfilled commitments by the government of India to the residuary state of Andhra Pradesh, a new state with an old name, and the five crore people of Andhra Pradesh. Madam Speaker, non-implementation of an act of parliament is a national issue. Non-implementation of assurances given by none other than the then Prime Minister on the floor of parliament during consideration of the AP reorganization bill, without which this bill would not have been passed, is also a national issue. So it is not prudent to say that the issues of Andhra Pradesh are not national issues. They are certainly national issues and also emotional issues for the people of AP. And today is a litmus test to the, this parliament on how it ensures the implementation of these and other similar issues. Madam Speaker, the president of BJP, when he met the BJP core committee members, including MPs, MLAs, and MLCs from AP on the 17th of March at Delhi, declared to wage a war on the Telugu Desam party. Madam, it is not a war between the BJP and TDP. It is a war between majority and morality. It's a war between the Modi regime and Andhra Pradesh, the five crore people of Andhra Pradesh. It is a war against discrimination shown by the Modi regime towards Andhra Pradesh. It is a war to honor an act of parliament and assurances made by a prime minister in parliament. It is a war between the authoritarian, Machiavellian attitude of the Modi regime and the rights of states that make up the Federal Republic of India. It is a dharma poratam, or dharma yudh, madam. I request the House not to constru construe my views and observations in the narrow sense, but to look at them in a larger perspective of how the relationship should have been between the center and states under the federal structure. Madam Speaker, this no-confidence motion has been brought by the TDP for four reasons. Fairness, trust, priority, and bias. Or rather, lack of fairness, lack of trust, lack of priority, and lack of an unbiased approach towards Andhra Pradesh. Lack of fairness <coughs> is about the unscientific and undemocratic bifurcation and its impact on the people of AP. Lack of trust is about where the Modi regime has used misleading, delaying, denying, deflecting, confusing, collusion, and coercion tactics to betray the people of AP. Lack of priority is how AP is getting the least priority, and lack of unbiased approach where funds given to AP are far less than what is being given to projects across India. Madam, I'll be focusing on my speech, which, which reflects the voice of five crore people of Andhra Pradesh, and it will be focusing on these four aspects. Madam, with your permission, I will be focusing on the special category status and the financial related issues of the AP Reorganization Act. And my colleague, Ramohan Naidu, when he gives his speech, will focus on the infrastructure and institutions in detail. It has been four years since the bill has been passed and two new states were formed. One is an old state with a new name. The other is a new state with an old name. Telangana is not a new state, madam. AP is the new state. All the challenges and burdens to be faced by a new state are being faced by us, madam. We are the ones who have to build a new capital, an industrial base, an educational base, where Telangana has all of them already. It has been four years, and we have been put into that challenge. But uncertainty and difficulties go back several decades ago. It intensified 